Welcome to a look at the future of ranked play in Heroes of the Storm. Today we're previewing a new league structure, seasons, high rank recognition, and end of season rewards. There's a whole lot of shiny here, so let's dive in. Gone are the 50 ranks from our previous iteration, replaced now by seven tiers. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Grand Master. Each tier up through Diamond is also broken down further into divisions, starting with the lowest ranked players in Division 5 to the highest in Division 1. Moving from the bottom of one division into the one above it will require a total of 1,000 rank points, with each game win awarding an average of 200 points modified by the challenge of each match. With this new structure in place, we hope players will have a better idea of their individual skill level across the player base, as well as what it will take to advance to higher ranks. Let's take a closer look at how it all works together. At the beginning of each season, players will undergo a series of 10 placement matches that will determine their initial rank. Following placement, each ranked match played will either award or take away rank points depending on wins or losses. If enough rank points are earned, the game will present players an opportunity to move up a division by winning a promotion match. Conversely, losing points will grant a similar opportunity to defend your current division in a demotion match. Of course, we'll make sure players are well aware when these critical moments are at hand. Now let's talk about home for the best of the best, Master and Grand Master. Unlike the rest of our structure, these two unique tiers will not have divisions. The Master Emblem will display the total number of rank points a player has accumulated, allowing for an easy way to track progression against other players. Grand Master will then be made up of the top point earners in each region's Master tier. If you make it all the way to Grand Master, your Emblem will display your leaderboard position, with rankings updated on a daily basis to ensure relevance and accuracy. Given this new structure, there are a couple of additional rules you should be aware of. First. Only players whose ranks are within one tier from another will be able to queue together as a party in Hero League. Also, while in placement matches, players will only be able to party with other players who are also undergoing placement matches. Second, in order to ensure a positive experience for players, we will be removing the ability for silenced players to queue in Hero League until their silence penalty expires. All right, we can't talk about seasons without covering rewards. Each season will last anywhere between 8 and 12 weeks, depending on community feedback. And upon conclusion, players will earn some fantastic rewards for ranks in both Hero and Team League. Keep in mind that future rewards may be wildly different, but for now, here's a look at what players will earn for pre-season ranks at the launch of Season 1. Rewards will be given for the highest rank held by a player across a given season. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the future of ranked play in Heroes of the Storm. If you have any feedback, please do let us know. We look forward to continuing to polish the competitive experience and appreciate any ideas you might have. Good luck out there as you climb the ranks, and as always, we'll see you in the Nexus.